So we just got this brand new card in Master Duel, and honestly, it's a pretty goddamn strong card, especially with the new Salad support. The only issue is, we don't have the new Salad support yet. Yeah. So I was just thinking, what exactly can we do with this new card until that new support arrives? And that's when I went to the drawing board and I came up with a pretty cool little combo you can do with this brand new card that essentially just gives Salad two extra disruptions. Now, just a bit of a fair warning, I'm not exactly the greatest Salaman great player around, I'm not exactly an expert in the R type, so if there's any people in the comments who are watching this video who are really good at Salad or are really good at Cyburst in general, let me know your thoughts on the combo, or let me know another combo you could do with this brand new card that's better than this one, or a way that sort of enhances the one I'm already doing, because I'd honestly love to hear it, I'm sure people watching this video would love to read it as well, so if you have any thoughts on the combo, let me know down below. And without further ado, let me show you a cool little combo you can do with this brand new card that boosts the shit out of Sard to give them two extra disruptions they just would not normally have. Alright, let's showcase this brand new Sardman Great combo and show you what the new card can do for this deck list. So, keep in mind if you are a seasoned Sardman Great veteran or you've seen like one Salad combo tutorial before, you'll notice all I'm really doing is a very stock standard Sardman Great combo that's going to end on a slightly different end field. That's all this is, a different end field or a different option you can go towards if you're not particularly interested in going for the Heat Soul, maybe your hand is already filled with hand traps so you don't really care about drawing into more of them, or maybe you just want to have some guaranteed disruption rather than RNGing it on trying to top deck into some disruption, something like that, you can go for this end field instead. Also keep in mind, this isn't the only combo that ends on this end field. If you've played Salad or you know how the decklist functions, you'll know you can basically set up this end field in a variety of different ways. This is just going to be probably the more standardish way you're going to do it because it's the more standard combo you do in Salad. So this combo, I'm going to be using a Spinny and a Gazelle. That's all we're going to be using. So use this circle to grab my Spinny real quick. And let's show off this combo. So just pretend these are the only two cards in my hand, the rest of my hand is all just bricks or something, and we're just going to use just these two cards. So, normal summon your spinny. This of course turns it into a Bailinx. This will trigger your Gazelle to summon itself from your hand, and of course search for your field spell. Alright. Triggering your Gazelle. Not going to use that Ash Blossom, because that would be very silly. Summon your Gazelle, grabbing the Field Spell, and of course using the Gazelle to send a card to the Graveyard. In this case you'd normally get a choice between sending two Trap Cards, but one of them happens to already be in our hand, so we're going to send the Rage instead. Alright, now we want to get two level 3s on the field, because it's very important that we make our Xyz monster to get a hold of our Jack Jaguar. So two level 3s, that's enough for a rank 3. There is our Mirage Stallio, or have you pronounce this card's name. Mirage Stallio, is that how you pronounce it? Something like that. Alright, this thing's effect will now go off, attaching your card. And this will summon out your Jack Jaguar straight from the deck list, putting him on the field. Alright, we're going to activate this field spell because we're going to need it in a second. These two cards are going to become your Sunlight Wolf. Put him on the field. Now we can make a second Sunlight Wolf, because we want to use this effect to add back from the graveyard. Adding back, of course, the trap card we sent earlier. So adding back this Rage. And we can set that card for later anyway, might as well set this one too. Alright, now we can use the effect of our Jack Jaguar. Now this is where this is going to, the combo is going to differ, differentiate, or how do you say that word? It's going to change up from the standard Sunman Great combo because normally you'd send your Sunlight Wolf from your from your graveyard back into your extra deck and keep these two cards in the graveyard for further use. But in this case, I actually want to use this Sunlight Wolf to summon back during my opponent's turn, so I'm going to keep this in here because I want to have the extra target. As you'll see when we get to that part of the combo, so we're going to keep this thing in here. Not going to use it yet. I'm actually going to chuck this Bailinx back in the extra deck instead. It doesn't matter too much because I can just summon back the Bailinx whenever I want to anyway, so if I want to have that extra graveyard protection I can just sort of put it back in there anyway. Alright, this of course triggers the Sunlight Wolf's effect to then add back the Gazelle to hand. Alright, now you notice this is a very sort of typical Salad Enfield. From here you can go into your um, Heat Souls or whatever else by just summoning things like your Splash Mages or your um, whatever that little Cyburst trap negating guy is, you can summon that on the field and go for your Heat Soul. 
But in this case, we're going for the new combo. So what we're going to do is we're going to summon out the brand new Link 3 card. But first of all, we're going to make a Bay Link so I don't forget. Make this Bay Link on the field. Just so we have that extra bit of protection in the graveyard. And then we're going to go for a copy of our Promethean Princess. What's this card's name? Promethean, Promethean Princess the something of something. It's a very Dark Soulsy sounding name. But Promethean Princess the Bestower of Flames. A pretty sick name. So this card has three effects to sort of worry about. The first one is, whilst it's on the field, you can only summon fire monsters. Keep that in mind because it stops you going into your access code talker plays and all that kind of stuff if you already have this thing on the field. So that might be why you might notice you're locked out of something. So keep that in mind. The second effect of it is, this thing can just summon back a fire monster from your graveyard. So in this case, I'm going to grab back my um, Sunlight Wolf because I want this effect. I want this thing on the field so my uh, trap card's obviously active. Alright, next up, this thing has a third effect, where if it's in the graveyard, whenever your opponent tries to special summon a monster, you can destroy a fire monster on your field to destroy a monster on your opponent's field. So it's very important, we actually just want this thing in the graveyard. Also keep in mind, when it does so, it can just special summon itself back to the field. So, we're going to go for a Link 4. A card that you might not have seen all that often, because it doesn't really see that much play. Summon out the Whale. The Amphibious Swarm Ship, what is it, Amphibious Swarm Ship and Blow Whale or something? This card, it doesn't really see much play because it's not that great of a card, but in this particular combo, it feels pretty goddamn nice. This thing gains 200 attack for each Link monster in your graveyard, but it has a couple of extra effects. If this card is destroyed, you can target one of Link 3 or lower monster in your grave on either graveyard and special summon it. So, when this thing is destroyed, it can target a Link monster in the graveyard, summon it back, and that's why we actually kept this... There's some um, sun Sunlight Wolf in the graveyard, because it's a good target to summon back with this card. The other effect of it is, if a Link 3 or lower monster on the field is destroyed by battle or card effect, whilst this thing is in the graveyard, you can banish this card to destroy one card on the field. So we want this thing to not only be destroyed, but we want it to be in the graveyard, to then destroy one of our opponent's cards potentially, if he destroys one of our own cards. So, how can we do that? Well, we just have to wait for our opponent to do any sort of special summon. So we've got our typical Sard setup, we've got a trap card, we've got a couple of hand traps or whatever. Wait for our opponent to special summon something, and as soon as he does so, it will trigger our monster in the graveyard, our Promethean Princess. So I activate this thing's effect. This can now pop your own amphibious swarm ship to destroy a card in your opponent's field. Alright. Upon doing so, the card revives itself to the field. Which is very useful considering this thing can actually uh, summon back cards from the graveyard again. And this thing, it's now going to be triggered to summon back that Sunlight Wolf we kept in the graveyard earlier. Now, if you don't want to keep the Sunlight Wolf in the graveyard for whatever reason, maybe you only run like two Sunlight Wolf because you want to have some extra cards in your extra deck for example, you can not worry about this part of the effect and just not care about summoning back a monster. It's also like a high chance your opponent might have removed this thing or something anyway, so you could just summon back this Sunlight Wolf or something. But in general, I think it's probably better just to guarantee you have an extra target in there, so that's why we'll be doing it. Alright. Then when the turn passes back to you, we actually have a really nice summon back of just grabbing back that Link 4. So we can just use our Promethean Princess to grab that big dude, and there he is, back on the field. And we have so many resources to go into whatever we feel like. Obviously, of course, you want to get this thing off the field because you want to worry about... We can use a Sunlight Wolf to get this thing off the field, because obviously we want to go into things like access code talkers or anything like that. We could just send it to the graveyard, and you've got all your standard salad stuff, and you can special summon whatever you like from the extra deck now. And that's basically the combo for this deck list. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this little combo. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember, like I said at the start of the video, if you guys have any thoughts on ways to improve this combo or different combos or just ways to use this card in general, feel free to leave those thoughts in the comments down below as I'm sure there's plenty of people watching this that would love to read them as well as myself. Also, if you did enjoy this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing. Plenty more Master Duel content on the way, so if you want to see any of that, appreciate the likes, appreciate the subs, and yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope to see you in the next one. Laters. Hey, big brother, can I watch Spongebob? Shut up, Mokuba. I'm busy flagging YouTube videos to compensate for the fact that I have an extremely small penis. Oh.